Hello and welcome back to the When You're Podcast, the podcast for when you're doing anything. Today we're talking about when you're watching Bridgerton Season 3, Episode 1. That's right, it's a commentary episode. Um, I am excited to watch this Bridgerton season. I was waiting for all of it to come out because they split it up into two parts. I don't know why, but you know, they're doing their thing. Anyways, right now... We are watching the first episode. This is a complete, this is a commentary episode. I'm going to try to do it every single, every single week. Um, You know, I don't, I usually just like try to binge watch the whole thing. But you know, I'm showing some restraint. I'm showing some much needed like pullback. You know what I'm saying? I'm really trying my best here. But anyways, let's just get straight to the episode. So here's what's going to happen. Uh, the Netflix logo is going to pop up and that's where essentially this whole thing is going to start. So I'm going to press play in three, two, one, go. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. The little bee. Isn't the bee like a bad thing? They killed their father. Shondaland. Here we go. A Netflix series. I'm so ready. Apparently, this season is the pollen season. It's Penelope and Colin getting together, which has kind of been built up since season one. We all know Penelope has a huge crush on Colin, but it's not reciprocated. So this season, it's really going to be about how does she get Colin to love her, right? How does she get Colin to essentially, oh my gosh. I'm in love with Penelope now, all of a sudden. Oh, here we go. Lady Whistledown. And Eloise knows that she's Whistledown, so it's probably not going to be fun. It's going to be really difficult, actually, because... And Lady Featherington is, yet again, scamming and scheming, because uh, the past two seasons, she's been trying to get some money because she has nothing to really... I don't know. Help the Dodgers out. It's really a difficult time. It has always been really a difficult time, but, you know. Anyways. Penelope doing what she does best and just, like, watching people look at Lady Whistledown. (sighs) I... You know, I think I kind of like... I would have liked it a little bit more if we still didn't know who Lady Whistledown is, but I guess it has something to do with the books or like the the overall story of it all. You know what I'm saying? What are the chances that she gets discovered this season? I say they are they are low but high. Hmm. Eloise! Um, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm blanking on his name. Benedict? I think that's Hyacinth. Uh, that's the mom. Anthony and Kate! Wow! Yeah. Um, trying to think here. Who's making the debut? I forget her name. I don't remember the girl's name, but I, Francesca. Wow, has she been? She she hasn't been here this whole time, because um, I heard that they replaced somebody this season. I think this is who they replaced, because I don't remember this girl at all. I'm, oh boy. Of course they don't have Phoebe. Or, uh, what's her name? Daphne. Daphne. I I was thinking of her, the actress's name. I'm, um... Ah, is that Colin? It's gotta be Colin. He went away on his travels to go find himself and do whatever he wants. I'm trying to think here. I wonder what Kate and Anthony are gonna do this season. You think they're gonna do, like... Anything at all, really? Because Anthony's the head of the household, and now she's Lady Bridgerton. So, they both have some duties. My guess is, Kate and Anthony are going to have like a little bit of a, 
matchmaking rivalry with Francesca, try to get her get her married. I think that'd be I think that'd be pretty interesting. Uh poor Penelope and Eloise. It's Colin. 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 Yeah. Dang, dude, he looks good. He 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 definitely looks a lot more manly than the other seasons. He has like this boyish charm to him. Colin, Colin, Colin. Everybody wasn't expecting this. He didn't write them a letter. He didn't send them a a bird with a note attached. Family. Dang, everybody's kind of like, dang, brother. And I forget the little brother's name. Um, I think it has something to do with like, uh, I don't know. I don't, I really don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. New opening, maybe. I'm not going to skip the intro. I, I wish I could, but then I would have to count down and I don't want to do the countdown. Um, you know, this tree has gone through many, many changes. I'm, I must say, I am rather, not impressed, impressed is the wrong word. Um, I'm amazed that they're still keeping this going. I kind of, I don't know, ever since I, ever since, um, Queen Charlotte, I kind of was like, I thought that the Bridgerton stuff was kind of dying down a bit. Um, you know, maybe that's just me because I wasn't that big of a... If I had to rank the Bridgerton seasons, it goes season one, season two. Um, hopefully, well, we'll see where season three stands. But right now, season one is still the best. Oh, snap, brothers, brother talk, all of them together. How many girls? There's Daphne, Francesca, Eloise, Hyacinth. Eight kids. Wow. That's wild. Ah. Proportion. Right. He was, he was, you know, doing the crazy stuff. All right. New batch of ladies this season. I Last time it was Miss Edwina Sharma who caught the eye of the queen. You think it'll be Francesca this time? Hopefully it's Francesca. Maybe it's Francesca. Maybe it's not Francesca. Hopefully it's Francesca. You see, this is why I don't like Queen Charlotte all that much is because, like, she used to be so young and so cool. She used to be so nice and, like, a breath of fresh air. Now she's none of those things. You know what I mean? She's just the queen and she's weird. You know what I mean? She's just, I don't know, she, she's gotten too high and mighty. Mmm. <laughs> Right. Okay, Francesca's up next. She'll do great. I'm, I don't know why Daphne's not here. But then again, you know, it's like, does she really have a point to the plot anymore? Hmm. They did replace this girl. I remember, I, I definitely saw something on the internet that was like, they replaced the actress that was in the past two seasons. And now when it's like the debut, they kick her out. Well, well they don't kick her out. I, I don't know why they replaced her, but they just replaced her. It feels like a, that's got to be a punch in the gut. Is like, you've been waiting so long to get out there and you've been there since the beginning and now they just replace you. That's such a, a kick in the nuts. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Francesca, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta hop on board. You gotta get on the train. Let's go. Come on. That's it. That's it. 
Uh huh. There we go. Pay some attention. Let's go, Francesca. Come on. I gotta say, I don't remember what the past Francesca looked like, but this one looks super close to to um Daphne. I see. Nothing. Darn it. Darn. Not a thing for him. For her, my bad. I don't know why I said him. No, oh, Colin is the catch of this season. Everybody wants a piece of Colin. And why shouldn't they? You know what I'm saying? Comes from a wealthy family, a good family. He is a bit of an idiot, but hopefully he has outgrown some stuff. That's right, they have husbands. Or fiancés. Oh, snap. Supposedly died. That's how they got the... Yes, because she was smart. Right. Okay. All of a sudden, I, I hope... I hope it stays that way. Um... They do have they do have money now. It's not a lot of money, but they have some. Honestly, I hope that the only scandal that comes from the Featherington household is from uh, Penelope and Cullen. Um, that is a good point. You know, everybody's gonna wonder how she got the money. I mean. Everybody always is curious about how they make their money. A fortune out of nowhere. All that we really need to know or like remember is that she made up some money so that way she could have some to take care of the girls and get them married to a man of honor who could, you know, pay for the household. Take care of them, essentially. If Penelope does get with Colin, he can do that. He can most certainly give her a... Uh, What's it called? A dowry to take care of the whole family for who knows how long. And then it's the mamas. They are... I mean... They're doing what they want for their daughters, but... I really don't see the point in giving them a whole lot of attention or spotlight. Hey... Huh? Ah. So there's a chance. But he's not interested. That's not his main goal. And the Featheringtons return to society. And Penelope is all on her own. Oh my gosh. Come on, Penelope. Snap out of it. You gotta be... You got. You gotta look out for number one here. You gotta look out for yourself first and foremost, okay? You can't... Focus on anything else. Oh. Oh. Oh, snap. Now, this friendship needs... Oh, my gosh. Cressida Cowper. No. Eloise, this... Come on. You're going to leave Penelope for Cressida. Really? Really? Okay. Fine. It's going to be like that. Oh, you know what, Cresta? I forgot to mention. Uh, you're a hoe with no suitors, okay? You are a hoe with no suitors, and you will never live this down, all right? Penelope, Penelope, ooh, ooh Penelope's going to get with Colin and rub your big fat nose in it, Cressida. I swear. Go get some lemonade with our best friend. We'll win her back. We'll win her back. Hopefully. Francesca, she looks so much like Daphne. It's crazy. But they are sisters, so I guess it works. I don't remember what the original Francesca looks like. Yeah. Man, well, none of you are going to get married. That is to be assured. So they're just basically talking about what they look for in a man. That is... 
Lame. And Francesca knows it. Time away. They went out. They got married. I guess it was um honeymoon. Hmm. That's right, Francesca. But this season's about Penelope and Colin. Do you think they'll do like two scandals? There's got to be something. Yes. Good, good. Smart mother. Right. Hmm. So she's supposed to move out. Oh, they're already doing that. Oh, that's funny. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. Man, I've missed her. It's so weird seeing her now, especially seeing how she used to be so young. She used to be so young, but now they're so... And, you know, age is so different, but. Right, right, right. They're already swooning. You know what? I'm starting to think he didn't even travel. He probably just got uh, seasick and threw up and just. He doesn't want to talk about his travels. I will not talk about my travels. You didn't go traveling. You're such an idiot, Colin. But Penelope loves you, so I'm going to let this roll. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Colin. Do you want a wife or not? Men will be fighting for you. Would you stop with all the attention? This guy's an attention whore. He is so very... He knows that everybody wants him. This is... Oh my gosh. Back to the Featheringtons. Is there any other family we can get to know? I, I, I like the Featheringtons. It's just they're like... They always... You know, we just kind of always see them like... Clawing their way up to the top. And then always failing. It's always it's always like a, a Sisyphus thing with them. They're never going to reach it. You know what I'm saying? Penelope's going to break fate. She's going to break destiny. And she's going to get with Colin. Or that's, you know, the hope. Fingers crossed. I don't know exactly. Maybe they'll continue this. But we'll see. We'll have to see. Penelope. Oh, Colin sees her. And I love you. Exactly. Yeah, so he's been to Paris. Liar. Right. His hair is wavier than usual. Shout out to the hairstylist. Yes, that hoe. Okay, so I guess Colin knows that Penelope and Eloise are not on friendship terms anymore. He's probably going to get in the middle of it, and then somewhere or another, Penelope is going to squeeze into Colin. Right. Oh, you'll find out. You'll find out, okay? It'll come very soon, and then the tables will turn. Oh, boy. Yeah, right. Exactly. Pudding. I like pudding. Pudding. Well, I'm glad they found love. But these are the consequences of marrying men without title. I guess, I guess the Featheringtons are kind of like the... The opposite side. The Bridgertons always get things to go their way. The Featheringtons get nothing to go their way. You know what I'm saying? It's like the Featheringtons 
are the example of like, oh, this is what happens when you do what's good for your heart, but not what's fiscally or, you know, wealthy, you know, if you don't have the, the brains to match it, you know what I'm saying? The Bridgertons, they can, uh, what's it called? They can marry for love or go looking for love, you know what I'm saying? Whereas the Featheringtons, they need, um, they need the money. So that's what their priority is, or that's the mom's priority. But then her daughters are disappointments because Penelope doesn't marry, and then the other two married men that they love but have no title to them, so they have no money to give, and it's all kind of like a downward spiral. So it's up to Penelope here. It's up to Penelope. Madam... I forget her name. Madam something. Mmm. Okay, so she's trying to find some random husband. Uh, some random husband. Anyone? Okay. So you can be Lady Whistledown? Got you. Yeah. New dress. Oh, okay. Maybe that'll catch Colin's attention. Big, big. Unless he didn't go to Paris. Hey. I see. Four months he's only been gone. All right. Time to go play. Let's go. Which one? Oh, Eloise. She has to go get a new dress to be on society and be an eligible lady to get married. It is a watch of sorts. I mean, it's just a watch. Mm, but what else? You know, that's not a bad gift. Okay, maybe you should break that watch so that way she doesn't constantly look at the time. Ah! A book. On the right. Ah! Have they now? Like Penelope. With Cressida Cowper. Did she? What of Penelope? Yeah, right. Ah, uh, you mean Penelope. Okay. What secrets? What is he talking about? He is such a, a weirdo. Just tell us about your travels. Not all of the explicit details, but just tell us. Penelope was just here, right? Eloise is going to see her. They are going to have some tension. There's going to be some tension at the modiste. Ah. Oh. What did I say? What up, Eloise? Remember when I gossiped about you? And I'm also Lady Whistledown. Come on. Come on. Just get it out in the open. Hey. She was right. But you haven't. Thank you, Eloise. Come on. For what she did. Come on, Eloise. Come on. You don't understand the queen 
Okay, okay, what exactly happened? Why did Penelope write those things? She wrote those things because the queen thought Eloise was Lady, Lady Whistledown. And she was about to all, it was all about to unravel. Penelope had to save you, okay? By keeping the trail off of you, you know, you would be fine. Ooh. Hey. I see. All right, what does he want? What's going on? They're probably going to get in more trouble. They never get a break, these guys. That things never go their way. She died. Well, sucks to suck. What? What? No way! His son's to be a baron! That's pretty cool! Although it is... It does suck that he has to be a boy, but... It does work to the fa oh, oh! Oh! Here we go! Honeymoon's not over, huh? Dang. Dang! Man, they just... Okay, getting it on, episode one. Oh, ooh. All right, well, if it wasn't juicy enough in the second season... Oh, going downstairs, I see. That's what I'm talking about. All right, oh. Dang, he was down there for like maybe five seconds and she's already gasping for air. Let's go, Anthony. Pleasures. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, no, come on. Ah. <laughs> you got that right, Anthony. Ah. Ah. No. Come on. Ah. Come on. And? No. Stay in bed. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Ah. All right. Well, it's all. You know what's funny is that none of these, these are all actors. None of them are actually preparing anything. I mean, they're pretending to be at. Okay, they're actors pretending to set stuff up, but everything's already set up for them. So it's just like, I don't know. New look, new hairstyle. She's cutting her hair or... I guess it's just the style. All right, Penelope. Looking good, looking good. Ooh. You know what is, you know what's going to happen? She's going to meet somebody else who likes her. And then Colin's going to get jealous. And then they're going to have like a little bit of a rivalry. That's what's going to snap them into it. That's what's going to make them... Penelope never had any love interest before, right? She was just Colin's friend, okay? Penelope gets a love interest. All of a sudden, Colin starts paying her attention. It all makes sense now. Colin is only going to notice her until after she's noticed by somebody else. It's brilliant. It's truly brilliant. I like this idea. Bridgertons have arrived. All right, this is where the Kate and Anthony uh, rivalry begins for Francesca. And I think the mom and Eloise are going to have like, I don't know. I honestly have no idea. 
But at the center of it all is Penelope and Colin. Okay, let's take a look at it. I like it. It's a that's a nice that's a nice color. I like the green. It's like a nice nice emerald. Yeah, Penelope. Everybody's staring at Penelope this season. Woof 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 woof. Awesome. Calm down. Calm down. She looks really good. Ah, we're going to get some suitors, I hope. Hopefully nobody makes fun of her. It's probably going to be Cressida, huh? Ah, even Colin's speechless at her new look. I haven't seen Penelope dance. Is that because, I don't know, I guess she has nobody to really dance with. She's just been standing by on the wall, waiting, and then ignoring it. Oh, here we go. Somebody's going to be impressed. Somebody wants you. Oh, they're coming for you. Here we go, Penelope. You're going to get some dances. You're going to get some numbers. You're going to get some people uh, wanting a piece of you. Yes. No, he's not wearing a gown, Penelope. Oh my gosh. She's never talked to a boy outside of Colin. She's been talking to Eloise for far too long. She needs to... Don't worry, don't worry, Penelope. You'll figure it out, okay? Embroidery's cool. You're telling me the kinds of stitches. What can you do with the embroidery? Oh my god, <laughs> Penelope. You need to chill out and just be nice. Eloise, come on. See, she's, she's fighting with the wolves out there. Wow. You're the one who asked. Ah, oh, Eloise, come on. You see, I don't like these awkward moments, but they're necessary. They're necessary. Penelope, just be you, okay? Stop being so nervous. Right. Ah. Good try, Penelope. I I will nobody's an expert the first time around, okay? Even Daphne messed up a lot. Penelope Featherington. But the Queen noticed her. That is true. There's some years that are not... Well, the zebras don't change. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Daphne. Daphne, diamond of the first quarter. I remember. And then the second year, the queen chose Miss Edwina Sharma. Anthony, Anthony and Kate. Uh, husband. Piano of some kind. What? 
He's not doing... Oh, dang. Anthony, Anthony has grown so, so much since Daphne. He was such an idiot the first time. Oh, snap. Him and Kate are going on the dance floor. Calm down, calm down. She just wanted a moment alone. Ah. Oh, poor mom. All alone. She has to work with Francesca and Eloise. I think the mom will have more chances with Francesca than Eloise. This season, at least. Oh, isn't that cute? I mean, I kind of miss them arguing all the time, but, you know, anything can really happen. Ooh, oh, that's sweet. Wow, Francesca just going up to Penelope. Who's to say that Eloise is the only one that can befriend Penelope? That's, you know what, that's right. Colin's allowed to be friends with Penelope, and so is Francesca. Aw, poor Penelope. Right. You can't converse with a gentleman. Right. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know what's going on with Francesca. I, I haven't really spent that much time with her, if I'm being honest. It's always been Anthony or Daphne or um, Benedict, Eloise, and Penelope. Like, I've never really given Francesca much thought. Now that they're kind of, like, focusing on her, I don't know. Come on, go. Let's go, Francesca. You gotta go give it a try. Put your apple juice down and try. Shut up, Francesca, and go dance. Damn. That wasn't a, that wasn't a good time to reverse the conversation. Get off the wall. She's been on the wall for two seasons already. This is her third season out. You gotta just chill. But then again, you know, I do want to see Penelope actually find somebody or try outside of Colin, you know what I mean? And that'll bring Colin out of his shell and that'll make Colin want Penelope even more. It'll make her desirable. Ah, oh, snap. What is she? Who is this guy? All right, I see. I see what they're doing. It's this guy. That was ice cream she was eating? Lord Debling. Oh. Okay, Lord Debling. Okay. Let's go. No, Penelope. No. Oh. Cressida. That was no accident, you ho. That was no accident. Oh, is it going to be Cressida versus Penelope for Lord Debling? Hopefully Cressida gets Lord Debling and she gets Colin. Ah, oh, damn. That's who you're friends with, Eloise? Oh, that's right. Big middle fingers up to you. Both of them. Both of them up to you. Come on, Eloise. How dare you? <laughs> These guys are trying to draw him out of the uh, adventures he's been on. He, ooh, he wants a piece of Penelope. Come on, Colin. Be, be a bad boy. 
Uh, she did just get that new dress. It is it is messed up that they ruined it for her. Are you? You like it, huh? It is green. Damn. Oh, yeah, miss you. What? Oh, that's right. Colin was saying like, oh, she's just like a little sister, a little. He called her like, it was like, I mean, I'm paraphrasing here, but he's like, she's a little loser and I could never want her like that. Ah. Uh. Oh, come on, Penelope. You're being a little hard on yourself. Dang. Colin, you must change this. You must make her your bride. Ah, oh, snap. Now she's being Lady Whistledown with a little anger behind her, her pen. Penelope, you are not in your right mind. You must leave all and well alone. Or maybe she's writing about herself. Oh no, she's writing about Colin. She's gonna badmouth him. And that's gonna drive a wedge between well, Colin probably already hates Lady Whistledown because of what they did about uh Penelope. I mean, uh, my bad, because of what Lady Whistledown wrote about Eloise last season and the scandal that was going on. Or um something else, I don't know. This was the guy that talked to the uh, the Baron, the 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 ones at the at the club. Yeah. Sweet. As soon as he, as soon as one of them get preggers. Right. They will be. I will be in the room when they are conceiving. Right. Uh huh. Um, right. If he finds out it's forged, just, oh my gosh, of course it's more scandal. Of course she forged the, the signature. They're ruined. They're so screwed. She screwed the family again and again and again. She forged the signature. He's going to find out. and They're going to be on the brink of ruin. This is embarrassing. Yeah, Eloise's sister. Yes. Who approves of that? Exactly, Cressida. Come on now. Exactly. If you wanted to get married, you would have been married season one, but you didn't. You have always been fighting with the Bridgertons and the Featheringtons. Yeah, because nobody wants you, ho. <sighs> because you always challenge everybody. You make no friends. 
until after the fact. Okay, that I understand. Twice? Thrice? That is why we must come to the conclusion that more men should have more wives. There, we solved it. We solved it. Now, there's plenty to go around. You know what I mean? All of this monogamy, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just ruining things for the, for the Bridgerton family. You know what I'm saying? For the ton, really. Not just the Bridgertons. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just joking around, but come on. No. Uh. Which is we. Eloise is interesting. You, on the other hand, Cressida, I don't know what you do at all other than be mean. All right, finally, some Kate time. What is she doing? What is, what is her desires? What is she going to do this season? And, oh, snap. Are they going to get it on again? Do it on the desk, please. Ah uh, yeah, let's go. Man, this is what they're going to be doing all season? Come on. Come on, Kate. Give in. Is it about Francesca? Oh, the mom. No, 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 no. She wants to chill. More honeymoon? I guess. But then... What about Francesca and Eloise? Anthony has to be here for... Her. If they meet anybody, just like he was for Daphne. Oh, here we go, baby. Okay. And then cut away. Well, that was great. So I guess they're just getting written out this season, essentially, huh? They're not going to be here any longer. That sucks. All right, whatever. She didn't like it. It was just okay. It was so-so. She didn't really meet anybody. Right, right. Two balls. There, there needs to be two balls. She's not finding anybody. Nobody is frightened of the balls. Hopefully love does come your way. Oh, is she? Okay. Does she like girls? Is that it? That would be that would be a nice twist. As if she was lesbian. Oh, oh. What do you want, Colin? You don't like me. I have Lord Debling now. What do I need with you? Of course. Of course you do. Does it? She's ashamed of you? What's going on? What do you know of her warmness? Friend. She is deep in the friend zone.
Oh, snap! Oh, snap! He's gonna teach her to get a husband, and while teaching her, he's gonna fall in love with her. That's so brilliant! Oh, snap, dude. You can feel the tension. Oh, snap. Shake it. Shake that hand, girl. Damn. You can fit. No, no, Penelope. Yeah. Yeah, you'll see me soon. We're going to start our lessons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is going to be nuts. The romance. I don't know about Francesca, but I know for a fact Penelope and Colin. Oh, snap! The column that she wrote. Oh, Penelope. I told you not to write that thing. Oh, my goodness. When it, the oldest one or the youngest? This is all theirs now. Wow. Oh, wow. What is Francesca going to do? Will she meet somebody? I, I don't know. She's deliberately poking at the queen. Of course she's going to play along. This is going to be a tough one. Well, you wrote it, Penelope. Come on. Darn it. You do fear change. No, you don't. Oh, no. Eloise. Uh. Whistle down. The whistle down. She said some not so nice things about Colin. Of course he's mentioned. He everybody's looking at him. That is not wrong. Mm. He's not going to care. Yeah, exactly. That's right. First season was Miss Thompson. Oh. Aw, oh, damn. Darn it! He hates Lady- Oh, come on, Penelope! You see, this is why you can't write mad. Is that it? 
Ah, oh, that's the end of the episode. Episode one. All right. Well, okay. That was a uh, that was a very that was a that was a good episode. <laughs> that was a good beginning to it. Darn. Well, I mean, I don't know. I really don't know what to say now. Penelope is going to be getting lessons from Colin. He hates Lady Whistledown. Penelope and Eloise, Cressida Cowper, Francesca, Kate and Anthony. Uh, the Queen versus Lady Whistledown. You know what? This is this is going to be very heavy on on Penelope, but that's what it's all about. Anyways, I'll catch you guys all next time. Thank you so much for listening. Um, the next episode will be next week. Yeah, whatever. Thank you guys so much for listening. I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you.